Okay, so let's try to move the items from the chest back into the view of the player um, after we have stored them inside the chest. So to do that we need to open up our um, script again and we need to go to the bottom of the chest inventory script and in here we are going to make a function called public void move items to inventory so public you know, from chest basically public void move items from chest so this function is basically going to take all the items and move them back into the view of the player so we're going to um, make a for loop and it's going to run the same amount of chest slots basically the same as before and then we are going to say if our chest items that count isn't zero so if we have more than zero items then we need to move them back if, if it's zero then there's no point in trying to move them and our chest items that count is larger than i so basically the count should be larger than the current um, current iteration of, of um, the current iteration we're using to run through our test items because we have for example 50 slots but we don't need to show all 50 slots and we don't need to run through all 50 slots we only need to run through the amount of slots that our chest has let's say our chest has 20 slots then we only need to run through 20 slots so this is basically what this line of code does and this should be just items dot count of course and we need to make sure that the chest items on the slot we are looking at right now isn't null so there should be something if there isn't anything then we can't try to place it inside the inventory and uh, that wouldn't make n a lot of sense to us to place something that doesn't exist and then we need to check if the chest items that count so if the slot we're looking at amount of items is larger than zero so if the slot has some items then we're going to add it then we're going to say game object new slot equals all slots i and new slot that get component slot that add items so we're going to add all the items just items i so what we just did here was to take all the items from um Oops, sorry, there needs to be an S here. Um, so what we just did was to take all the items from the chest. We, we are looking at a, at a specific slot. We're taking all the items from that slot and we're placing them in the view of the player by creating a new slot or enabling a new slot basically and taking and adding all the items from the chest behind the visual part of the player. Then we need to make a new for each. Or I'm going to say that it's run through chest um, it needs to run let me see just press something wrong here let's try again um, it needs to run through chest slots there we go the amount of slots we have in the chest let me say all slots I that set active to true so now we're showing everything to the player so let's try to save this. So now, before we had that mis that error where we went in and out of the um, the chest, and then all the the slots were hidden from the player, so we couldn't see them. But right now we are making sure that we're showing them again. And when do we need to call this function? Well, we need to call it when we are opening our inventory, because when we are opening it, we need to take all the items inside the chest and move them to the visual inventory, the chest inventory for the player. So we need to find somewhere we can write public override void uh, open. There we go. So we're going to call open. So when we call the open function, we are simply going to say if is open. So if our chest um, is open, then we are going to bring forth all the items so we can see them. Because open is also called when we close the, the chest but it's not necessary to take the items and show them to the player when we're closing the chest so we need to call move items um, from chest and save so 
So let's give it a go and see if we have any errors. Pick items up, putting them here. We're moving away and we're moving back in. And the items are still there now. And what if I click the close button myself and open again and the items are still there. So now I don't have the problem where the items disappear when I close the inventory and open it again. So let's stop running our game and we can actually try to create an other chest just to test if it works so if we take this chest here you can see we have this big collision box around it let's just make it a little smaller to make it easier to test basically you go to you click on the chest go to the box collider and change it into one in all axes so it has the correct size then you right click on the chest duplicate it and you move it all the way to the side here for example and um, I don't know why I have an exception here. I don't think it's anything important. I think it's from the that's maybe from the crafting bench here because we need to fix something there later. Um, now we have two chests. We are going to name one chest. Um, I'm going to rename it to, if I could, uh, chest one. And up here we have our chest two. So let's see, chest two. Let's call. Let's say that that has uh, twenty slots, and the other one still has ten. Let's see. We have two chests now. We open this one up. It has ten slots, and this one over here has way more slots, as you can see here. Okay. So let's try to store some items in them. The first chest we store our iron and our axe, and in the other one we store our stone and our wood. So let's see. As you can see we have our iron and our axe and in the other one we have our stone and our wood. As you can see here, I just provoked a bug here on purpose. As you can see, if I open and close the inventories fast, I'll get the error where um, my inventory basically um, overlaps each other so the amount of, of slots is not correct. As you can see, if I go here I have the big one open and I run fast over here and press the E button. You'll see that I have too many slots here and we are going to fix that later, don't worry about it. Um, but uh, just leave it for now. Or actually, you know what, let's just fix it right away in this video. Um, we can fix it by going to the inventory and basically what we need to do is to um, be able to, if, if one inventory is fading out, then we need to close the other one exactly. Uh, it, sorry, um, I'm getting ahead of myself here. If one inventory is fading out, um, maybe it's easier to show it here. So if we have this one inventory, we open this one up, and when I move away, it starts to fade out. If I manage to move into another inventory while that other one is fading out, we need to close that other that that first inventory that is fading out right away, and so so we don't get those extra slots. So we're able to close it right away when we enter a new chest. We need to add a new variable to the normal inventory script. Go all the way to the inventory script in the top here. It's faster if I do like this. And then we're going to make a new boolean called public bool instant close. So this one is going to decide if we should close our inventory instant. Equals true. Um, or basically should be false from the get-go. So if this boolean becomes true, then we're going to close the in inventory instantly. So let's go to our open. Basically, it's our fade out coroutine. Here. And when we're fading out, we can actually break this while loop here. So underneath the progression right here, we are going to say if instant If instant close, um, then we're going to break the loop. So if this instant close suddenly becomes true, then the loop is going to break and the inventory is going to close and everything and we're not going to have the problem with extra slots. So to finalize the fun functionality or to add the functionality, we need to go to our chess script. And inside the chess script, we need to add some functionality for the on trigger enter. 
So basically we need to say inside the player we need to check zoom in so you can see something. We need to check if um chest inventory dot fading out. Okay, so we need to check if it's fading out and we can't access that from here, so go back to the inventory. Um and go all the way up here. See if we have something called fading fading out here. And this one is private, so we need to make it um then we need to make it access so we can access it. So basically you can right click on it, refactor and encapsulate field and press OK. Or you can remove the and then you can move the set variable. So when you've done that we can access it from our chest script by saying if chest inventory is uh, that fading out not fade time but fading out so if we are fading out then we are going to say chest inventory dot instant close is true and then we're going to say chest inventory dot move items to chest uh, yeah. And what else do we need to do? That's basically it. Okay, so explanation of this. When our player enters the chest, this, this script is sitting on the chest. When our player enters the chest, we're going to check, well, is the chest inventory fading out, which means it's actually on its way to close. If the chest inventory is on its way to close, well, that means we already had an inventory open when we entered the new one. If that's the case, then we're going to say chest inventory instant close to true because we really wanted to um, close right away and then we're going to say chest inventory don't move chest to items so we're gonna items to chest so we're gonna move all the items away so that they disappear so the player can't see them anymore I don't think we ever set this instant close to false again um, let me go see what we have it here yeah so basically we also need to set it back um, back to false when we're done closing the inventory because if we forget to close put it to false then it's never gonna fade out again so down here after fading out is false we can simply say instant close is also false so let's save this and see if we prevented the bug we can open this one up and run directly to the next one and as you can see it just closes instantly when I run into the next one so I don't have that uh, double problem as you can see here I can't even force it so if I pick up some items here we're not gonna have any uh, problems anymore if I store them out here here and run in here this one is also empty so that was actually that slot bug we just uh, just fixed Um, I'm gonna end this part now and in the next part we're going to have a look at how we can actually save and load uh, this new um, chest we just created.